Hey guys, it's Tori from Monogram Moments, and today I'm going to walk you through how to use HTV, which is heat transfer vinyl, behind your sketch, stitch, embroidery designs. Now, HTV was traditionally used in machines like your Silhouette or your Cricut, where you cut out a design and then you press it onto a shirt. We're essentially kind of doing the same thing here. We're still going to press it and use it on our shirt, but it's, we're using it as more of a background for our sketch designs. Normally sketch designs look their best on white shirts since they do have that not full thread count, um, hence the name sketch. But whenever you use the white heat transfer vinyl behind these sketch designs, it gives them a white background, but you're still able to put these designs on a colored shirt, which I know moms and customers love. So I've got my design ready to go. I'm using my Baby Lock Alliance embroidery machine and Mighty Hoops, and I'm going to add a basting stitch around where the design's going to be. And that's gonna help me know how large I need to cut my HTV, because you want that HTV to cover the entire design. And I get my HTV, you can just order it off of Amazon. Okay, so I've got my basting stitch down. Now I take my white heat transfer vinyl, and I'm going to lay it across the design, and I'm just, got a marker. So I'm going to mark a little off away from that basting stitch line on the top and the bottom. And then I'm, I'm going to use my ruler and just connect these lines and then cut out that rectangle. Okay, so here's my rectangle and I'm just making sure that it is going over my basting line, my basting stitch so that I know it's big enough. Now I need to peel off the backing of the HTV. So I'm just scratching at the corner and it'll come loose and separate or you can use a tool to kind of pull it up. Now this is important, make sure that you keep the clear backing on top and that part where I've got my hand on is going against the shirt because that is where the adhesive is. So as you're pulling, just make sure that the backing is on top and then you're just gonna lay it directly on your shirt from there. So don't flip that over because we are gonna heat press this to our shirt once we're done, just so it stays against the shirt whenever it goes into the wash. So now I'm just making sure that it's still around the basting stitch and that the design is not gonna be cut off. And then I'm just gonna press start and then the rest of the design is gonna be stitched on top of the HTV. And while this is stitching out, I'll just go ahead and say, once this is done, you get everything cut off, you'll want to use either your iron or your heat press to press this HTV so it adheres to the shirt so that it does better in the wash. Just check on the website where you bought the HTV from for the pressing instructions. It'll have the temperature and the time. It's normally around 300 degrees for about 10 to 15 or so seconds. And also be sure to join our embroidery group. It's Monogram Moments Embroidery on Facebook. And we've also got a website where I sell these embroidery designs if you see something you like. But I'd love to see you in the Facebook group. Love to see you try this technique. So right here, I wish I had stopped and gone ahead and pulled off the white because this these snowflakes really did not need to be behind or on top of the HTV. And it was just made it difficult to pull it because it's so small. Well, that's okay, you live and learn. So once this finishes, I do have a name I'm gonna add to this design, but I didn't want the name since it's a satin stitch to go on top of the HTV because it wouldn't need it and it would just be more work for me. So now I'm pulling this off my machine and I would put this on my lap normally and kind of move the hoop as I'm pulling this, um, but I just kept it here so you could see it on the video, but you literally just pull. Um, it doesn't pull it up from the design and where it's stitched, it kind of perforates the design so it makes it easier to pull. But So here's a prime example of why I wish I had not stitched those snowflakes on this, but it's okay. So I'm just pulling and again, so there's some pieces left behind, but I will get to those later. I just wanna get as much off as possible so I can stitch the name. And again, I think a lot of those pieces would have been eliminated had I had this on my lap and I could have pulled at a better direction. All 
All right, so I am done now, and I get some tweezers to kind of pull up these little rest of the tidbits. It worked okay, um, but it got it. It got it done, and some pieces I had to work on a little bit more about. It was like I figured it'd be easier once I took it off the hoop, and now I'm going to pull off that basting stitch. And that is it, you guys. So let's go ahead and either use your heat press or your iron to press this HTV to the shirt. But that is how you use HTV behind sketch embroidery designs.